married people do we have in here, by the way? Natalie or... <laughs> wow, someone's sleeping on the couch tonight. <laughs> that is absolutely awesome. Is that Mel's husband? Anyway. <laughs> no, the reason I'm asking is this. I tour with a guy, or I travel with a guy, and... Uh, Really nice guy, but every time we finish a show, he wants to immediately drive home. And it doesn't matter if we're in Saskatoon, like a five, six hour drive, and we finish at midnight, he wants to get right home. And his whole thing is, well, you know, nothing like sleeping in your own bed. And my thing is, well, your bed has a wife in it. Okay, I can understand why you're eager to get home. I said, listen, let's make a deal. If you let me sleep with your wife, I'll buy his plane ticket so we can be home in an hour and a half. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. If you met his wife, trucking a helicopter is not out of the question. I'll be honest with that. But I'm amazed. I love, like, I'm amazed by married people. That's the thing. Like, if you told me at one point in my life that two people could sit at a table and have two entirely different conversations, I never would have believed it. But you married people prove me wrong all the goddamn time. Like, I'm a bachelor, and the thing is, there's nothing more horrifying to a married lady than a single man. Like, there's no bigger portrait of abject failure than a single man to a married woman. So as a result, during Christmas, I'm good for two or three turkey dinners a night. Because all my friends invite me over. But because of this, I get to sit and listen to conversations like... You know, honey, we're not replacing the fence this year, but you know, Daryl and Joy next door, there's some Dave that's coming back from college this year, and the thing is, if we buy the paint, ship him a few dollars, he might be able to paint the fence, and that's gonna keep it going for a couple more years so we won't have to replace it. Does that sound like a good idea, honey? Does that sound like a good idea? You know, I think we should rent a tent trailer and go to Saskatoon. <laughs> Is that even the answer to that question? I don't think it is. I don't think it is. And who do you listen to in that conversation? I listen to the wife. Because the wife's story has a plot and characters and a dramatic through line and story arcs. If you respond to the guy, you have to respond to him two or three different times before he gets that stunned look off his face. You're talking to me? And not at me! <gasps> Ladies in the audience, I don't want to get you all hot and bothered here, but I should make this confession. I'm wearing blue long johns. Picture that. Went off to Mark's warehouse, bought the full ensemble, those dry weaves, right? Blue long johns, blue top. Now I know how a superhero feels. After the show tonight, heading back to the Holiday Inn, I'm gonna strip down to my long johns, grab a towel, stick it in the back of my neck, and run up and down the hallways going, da -da -da! Can I help you, man? No, I can't, I'm not gonna do that. Or MC Ken wants to get home and sleep in his own bed. <laughs> <laughs>